Hey, what's up, fellas? It's still uh, Monday, the 29th of August, 2022. It's a little after, I think it's 1130 here in the, uh, West Texas, El Paso. I'm, I'm going to make this video because I think I've gotten off, and off on a weird track about politics and some other uh, stupid things. Uh, this video, the title of this video is why <clears throat> you as a man are good enough. And there is no reason for you as a man to feel ashamed of being a man. It seems like for probably the last 10 to 15 years, there's been some sort of cultural assault on men to the point to where they talk about toxic masculinity, that we can't sit down and open our legs to give our balls and to not give to give ourselves enough room to so we don't smash our balls like we don't have balls um to act like we're the the reason everything's fucked up um it, it's absolutely it's all part of the uh, feminist agenda it's all part of the uh, socialist communist agenda to destroy good average hard working men and again I'm not a woman, I'm not gay, um, I'm not transgender, I don't have sexual dysphoria. Uh, my advice is just for good, hard work, and average men. Uh, and, and I promise you, I'm not trying to take anything from you. I'm not trying to tell you that my advice is written in stone. It's just advice with the point to try and help you. Um, I just turned 57 uh, Saturday. So um, I've been through it. Uh, I started out life very poor. Um, I managed to retire by the age 46. Uh, I, and I live in that very average, quiet life. And that was my goal from when I started my working life. So I'm going to talk to you first off about the three phases of a man's life. We as men have three basic phases of our life. It's from the time you're a teenager to about age 24 and at the max age 25. And that's your dreamer phase. That's your phase of life where if you want to be a rock star, a rap god, uh, you want to be an arts major, you want to be in plays, you want to be in movies, you want to do something NFL, you want to be a professional athlete, athlete. you want to be the best uh, movie producer, all of those things are in the, the time from your teens to your 24 at the most 25 is what I call your dare to be great portion of your life. And the reason I broke it up into three phases is because the first two phases will let you know if you're going to be able to survive the third phase of your life. And all of us are going into the third phase of our life if we live long enough. So the second phase of your life is your career phase. And I'm not talking about having a job. And I'm talking to you guys that are fucking full-time bartenders or waiters or, or the rest of that stuff. We need... They're bringing manufacturing back to the U.S. because we can't depend on China. They're bringing manufacturing back to um, Mexico. I think those, those, our country and Mexico are going to become massive powerhouses in regards to geopolitical environment. We're one of the only pair of continents that have a cushion, which means we have an ocean on both sides of us, from Canada down to the, the very tip of Chile. We have two oceans as a cushion. We have access to... Anyways, let me not... I'm getting way off the point. Um, your second phase of your life is your career phase. Now, if you're going to go to college, I want you to only ever consider the STEM field. And if you're not going to go to college, I want you to highly consider the skilled trades. Carpenter, plumbers, Mechanics, in, no, not mechanics, carpenters, plumbers, electricians, anything. Um, the guys that climb the cell towers, uh, the guys that build our roads, the guys that make sure our 
our water supply works, all of the guys that nobody, all of the things that we, the electrical grid, our power grid, all of the things that a lot of us don't take any stock in because we simply take those kind of jobs and that thing, when you turn on the water, that you have clean water. I can cross the border in about 15 minutes into Juarez and you can't drink the water coming out of the tap. And here in El Paso, I can drink the water out of the tap. There's, that's a massive, that's a massive difference. All that to say is that for the second phase of your life, which I think is from about 24 till the time, yep, you decide to retire. You have to have a career. And being any of the trades, welders included, all those guys, you need to work your way up to become a master mechanic, a master carpenter, a master plumber, a master electrician, a master welder, all of those things. A master road worker, figuring out how to become a supervisor, how to lead men by example. Those things are careers. Working as a bartender has a very, very harsh consequence when you get older. Working in a non-skilled job, having a job, has the harsh reality of when you get to the third phase of your life, which is when you want to retire. So the third phase of your life is, I'm planning to retire, I've saved enough money, I have enough medical benefits, I have, uh, most of my things are paid off, and I can punch out with reasonable expectations to take care of myself for the rest of my life. Or I'm going to live in a community that where we look out for each other. And this can be what's called compound living, which can be a community of men looking out for each other. And I, I foresee that becoming a, and you know what, some of these women are so fucking delusional, guys just don't want to fucking deal with them. And by the time most of you retire, they're going to have sex dolls that walk and talk and cook and clean. <laughs> and you can have fun without ever having to deal with a female. Um, that's just me being silly. Um, so now that we know the three phases of our life, you can't, as a man, you're not born with intrinsic value. You have to make something out of yourself. And my advice is not for you rich guys, you trust fund babies or anything like that. I'm talking about the average hardworking SOB that has to get out there and fight for everything that he earns in this life. So uh, here it is, the delusions. You're not responsible to participate in anyone's delusions. You, and I'm talking about women, I'm talking about this gender issues, societal issues, abortion, all that kind of stuff. You do not, as a man, have to participate in any person, especially delusional women, and yes, you single moms, we don't have to participate in any of your fucking delusions. Second, as a man, you are not guilty of anything you didn't do. And if anybody tries to lay guilt on you like that, kick them the hell out of your lives. They don't deserve to have any opinion. You have the right to be who you are. And don't let anybody try to break you down because you're a man. There's been too much of that. To where guy, I mean, there are guys, well, anyways, simps. They're referred to as simps. Here's, here's the, probably one last cat, a couple more things I gotta do. You're supposed to, as a man, fuck things up. You're supposed to make mistakes. The biggest part of that is, like Nietzsche said, that which does not kill us makes us stronger. Now, you're supposed to, here's the big, here's the big, here's the big uh, finish, the big reveal. You're supposed to learn from those mistakes. You get drunk and you make a bad decision, you should learn from that. I, I highly suggest if you're going to drink at all or do any kind of substances which is going to alter your mental capacity, you do it at home and invite your friends to your apartment or your home. And you don't involve anybody else, especially to be inebriated or not at the top of your game out in public is a massive mistake as a man. I'm going to say that again. If you go out and get drunk 
or inebriated or you get out high or whatever it else is and you find yourself in, in public, that is a time you can be taken advantage of and you can throw your life away in the blink of an eye, drinking and driving, under the influence, getting into a fight and winning, but you knock the guy out, he hits his head on the curb and you just committed manslaughter. It doesn't mean that you did it with intent, but that other person died, so you gotta go to jail for 10 to 15 years. Stay home, do what you wanna do at home, run around in your underwear and sing the song, I can't remember this song, it was a long time ago by Tom Cruise. Dun, 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 dun. Anyways, I'm, I'm getting off the point. <coughs> the other thing <coughs> you have to do is <coughs> come to grips that as a man, you're required to have two different personalities. You can call it Janice. You can call it, um, like Jordan per Peterson refers to it, you have to be able to be a monster. And you also have to be able to identify the fact that you have the ability to be a monster. There, I don't know of any woman on planet Earth who could fight a man her same size. There's just no way. Uh, again, the biggest factor is, can I control my monster? Can I control my temper? If I have to be a monster, am I willing to do what it takes to protect myself and the people that I love? Yeah, I think I went a little bit overboard. I'm, I'm just, I can't be an advocate for ladies. I'm not a woman. I, I don't understand them many of the times, many of the ways they make decisions or why they do some of the things they do have no, no, I have no understanding of how they make decisions. It just, it doesn't make any sense. And men, at some point in time, if you cross too many lines with the man, you're going to fight that guy. With women, they do character assassinations. They talk behind your back. They stab you in the back. They're, a lot of them are just secretly nothing but a bunch of rats. So it is what it is. All that to say, you as a man are good enough. You are good enough. You work on your three plans. You do what's right. You don't spend more money than you have. You have two ears and one mouth, so we always listen twice as much as we speak, and we control our environment, the things we can control. I can control when I get up, how I, if I'm on time or not, and if you're not 15 minutes early, you're fucking late. You're dressed properly. You don't cause fucking problems, and you do the work. And if you do those things and follow your three plans, do not be surprised when you're successful. All right? Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. If you can't, take care of your goddamn self. You're worth it. And there is no reason for you ever to be ashamed of being a good average man. We run the fucking world like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.